A study was done with infants where an obstacle was placed between the infant and the mother. The boy infants would try to knock over, climb, or move the obstacle, and the female infants would cry. Oh, man! Can you believe it? So the boys would try to problem solve, and the girls would just vocalize their distress. It's science. We see it in infants. Where boys are problem solvers and girls just want to hear, they want to be heard that they are not okay right now. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. If you're on Patreon listening to this, you've heard us say over and over again that if you go to your man with anything, his first instinct is going to try to problem solve. Yep, that's what we do. So if you are just venting, it needs to be stated, hey babe, I'm just venting. I'm I'm fucking going through it, and I need you to have a bitch sess with me. Not meaning that he's gonna sit there and bitch with you, but you can sit there and just bitch all you want, and he will listen. And I don't know if you want him to brush your hair or something, say that. But boys are born with the instinct to problem solve to get to where they want to go. Boom. Yay. Not to mention that studies also show that as boys grow up, they tend to want to play more structured games. Now here are some of the conclusions to a study that was done a little while ago. Uh, basically it says that by playing these, these competitive, rule-oriented group games, it teaches and reinforces these problem-solving behaviors in boys and men. Right? Like sports, for instance, where there's a clear set of rules. So if there's a problem, we learn how to, how to solve it, how to deal with it, and continue playing. Whereas girls tend to want to play more games that lack structure. Games like house and dolls and hopscotch and shit like that where there's no real cooperation or set of rules. So what happens when there's a problem? Well, they tend to want to just throw a tantrum and quit playing altogether. I mean, look, you gotta love when empirical evidence kind of backs up all the shit we talk about around here. I mean, this is science for the W. It's science. That's a W. Did you just fucking, are you fucking kidding me? I'm kidding guys, it's just a car. It's not that serious. Jeez, man, like, why do people make such a big deal? Cars get dirty all the time. Hold up. Wait a minute. What do you think goes wrong in your relationships? <laughs> I think they get to know me is the problem, you know? Like, I'm like, I'm like the Dominican Republic. I'm great for, like, five days, and then they're like, oh, you have some problems that I was not aware of. I think that's what it is. You know? <laughs> but you know what they say about the best laid plans, right? houses yeah i poop at the bar i poop everywhere i bet you do dude i bet you i mean you blow it up too i bet you wreck it i bet you hit one of those gender neutral single stall bathrooms i go in after you and i start blinking i'm like oh fuck that burns dude holy shit i bet you wreck them man i bet they're sticky too those ones that they hit the back and they go like ee they leave like a long trail like you're like you gotta get out and go to the front you gotta go to the bar the bartender and be like yo you guys got like a scrubber or something in here i got I, I did some damage back there <laughs> if i don't get it off now it's gonna dry and oh, it's gonna be hard to get off later <laughs> good for you fucking poop hat and poop everywhere keep pooping dude i support your poop hat <laughs> She didn't give a fuck. I poop in the bar. I poop everywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. You know that. I hope you do. I actually get pleasure from pissing you off and annoying you. Huh? The first thing I thought when she just said that was, you're talking about men? You no, you're talking about women. Not making this up. There's a study between men and women that shows that men are reinforced by seeing an angry face on someone else. As long as that face doesn't last for too long, they perceive it as a reward and not a threat. A bullshit? I'm just telling you, I know 99% of men are looking for peace with a partner. Subconsciously, they are doing these things on purpose. Oh, Lord. Again, subconsciously, they're doing these things on purpose. She's talking about women, right? She can't be talking about men. Purpose to get that angry face out of you. Next time he's annoying you, just smile and see what happens. We, we literally call it a test because it's women who do this. This is crazy listening to this. It just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. Obviously, this is fucking bullshit. But look, the, the one thing that gets me about this clip, maybe you caught it. And she goes on and on about how men are the ones who get pleasure out of upsetting women, not the other way around, right? And yet the only piece of advice she gives at the very end is to smile. Why? 
Not because a smile is a good thing or a positive thing, but because she knows that smile is the one thing that's going to upset this so-called guy that she's describing. It's the one thing that's going to get on her skin. So she wants to do that one thing to upset him. And not only that, she wants to get other people to do the same thing. And, and yet men are the ones who, like, do you hear yourself, honestly? And here's another woman with the same kind of mentality trying to fucking flip the script on us. Men do not take accountability, ever. Ever. Hey. Anytime a girl says anything to a guy like, hey, I think men should do something different. They're like, oh, you just date the wrong men. Is this a global problem? Yeah. Like if women are all having a collective experience and saying the same things about men who also don't go to therapy, it's always men that anytime I say an issue that women have, they always turn it back on themselves. Yeah. What is the thing we need to take accountability for that we're not taking accountability for? Mm, I think men have a tendency to uh i think men in and rollo for example hold on hold on it's all right it's all right just don't fuck with me again first of all i'm not trying to say that all men are perfect obviously we can all get fucked over by someone we didn't expect it from but that exception does not prove a rule and the statistics here they just don't lie the 80-20 rule is prevalent in dating. Statistics show that roughly 80% of women are dating only 20% of men, and y'all are too blind to see it. Y'all are looking for fuckboys and bad boys and making all kind of poor choices based on all the wrong things, and when these guys come as advertised, now you want the bottom 80% of men, the invisible ones, the one in three men who have been celibate for the past year. You want them to take responsibility, hold themselves accountable for for the fuckery that these idiots did to you because of your poor choices? Like, it doesn't fucking work like that. Until y'all start making better choices and, and these ratios start evening out, like 80% of women are dating 80% of men, in this conversation, you just don't have a leg to stand on. You cannot expect the vast majority of men to take responsibility for what a small fraction has done to you. And even though the statistics show that the fault of this lies largely at women's feet, I would still say the same thing to men or women. Take responsibility for your own choices in life because we can all get fucked over by someone we didn't see it coming from. And you can sit there and cry about it and point fingers at someone else and, and let nothing change. But the sooner you realize that whether you like it or not, it was your choices that put you in that position in life, the sooner you can figure out what to do next time to make sure it doesn't happen again. Make sure your life is better from here on. Where are the men that actually care about emotional connection? Like, where are the men that actually want to build something with their person? They getting cheated on. Y'all don't want that. He ain't lying. I want to know how y'all, why don't y'all have sesame chicken? I'm sorry? Why don't y'all have sesame chicken? <laughs> I have a boyfriend. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't make sense. Hey, just a quick reminder, if you're enjoying the video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. You know, all that shit really helps and I do appreciate it. I just want to take one really quick second to say thank you to whoever it was, I hope you're watching, whoever it was that reported my last video and got it age restricted, all my hard work down the drain. Like, honestly, it's chicken shit way to go about things. Like, in the description of each video, in the description of the channel, it just says to fucking write me if you have any issues with the content. And I hate to break it to you, but you're gonna find more sexually explicit content on a massive fucking billboard in the middle of the street. On fucking basic cable, for Christ's sakes. Like, if you can't handle a five second clip of a girl in a bikini that is not sexually gratuitous in any way, shape, or form, like, there's the unsubscribe button. Feel free, you ain't gotta watch. So for you and anyone like you, who really feels the need to report shit that has no business being reported, fucking with people's work, like, I'm sending this message straight out to y'all. You need to stop being such a... Cunt. I don't go out a lot, like, I don't go to parties a lot, or whatever, that's just cause... I don't go out a lot, like, I don't go to parties a lot, or whatever, that's just... I don't go out a lot, like, I don't go to parties a lot, or whatever... I don't go out a lot, like, I don't go to parties a lot, or whatever, that's just... Cause... I don't believe you. I think just fuck off, thanks.
old. Maybe I'm immature, but I thought this was fucking hilarious. Plus, you know, in the description of this channel, I think I do mention educational somewhere. So I thought we'd have a little ornithology review here. Never look in the mirror before you leave the house. Be a man. <laughs> uh, check, did that, boom! So you couldn't have like a six, seven out of 10? No, as my girl, no, I can bang, I can bang a three out of 10. Oh, really? I can bang a two. Hell yes. If I have two more of these, I might fall on a one out of 10. I remember when I had my first beer. <laughs> I might fall on a thing on overdraft. <laughs> Like, you, you don't know what's going on. When the alcohol touches starts to go in my intestines and that, yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't blame you. I mean, between this type of shit and the simps out there and the DMs and OnlyFans, we, we really got no one else to blame but ourselves for these women's egos just being way out of control these days. Like, if men honestly started to practice a little sexual restraint, it really might do wonders for the modern dating scene. What's up? I buy you a PS5 and you be my boyfriend. I just got my mental health check today. I'm looking for a boyfriend and I got my child support. I got my nails done. Hey, be my boyfriend. With all due respect, what the fuck? Always a green flag when they gotta tell you they got their mental health checked. I mean, look, if you're that desperate for a PS5, get a fucking paper route. <laughs> and look, in the meantime, don't sleep on the gym this week. Otherwise, you may end up having to settle for a prize winner like this. I'll see you in the next one. Stop being a bitch and come on. I promise to stay away from your girl, but I can't promise she's gonna stay away from me. Uh... Real bad man. Gotcha, bitch. Give a shit what people say. I never did, I never do. What people say does not matter to me because whatever you do in life, Good or bad, there's always gonna be somebody, you know what I mean? So